hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today you want to find the value of x given that you have 3 raised to power x plus x equals 30. so guys let's have it to be solution now from here we have it to be solution then we have 3 raised to power x plus x to be equals 30. now from here let's rearrange this one to be here have to be 3 raised to the power x to be equals 30 minus x. Now, the next thing is, let's divide both sides by 3 raised to the power x. And this one will also be divided by 3 raised to the power x. Obviously, this will take away this. Then we have here to be 1 equals 30 minus x divided by 3 raised to the power x. Now, by arranging this expression, let this one here, then we have it to be 30 minus x divided by 3 raised to the power x equals 1. Now, we have to recall, according to law of indices, when you have b divided by a raised to the power m, this denominator here can be rearranged or can be expressed as b then a raised to power minus m. So let's apply this expression here. Here. Then we are going to have this place to be 30 minus x, then multiply by 3 raised to power minus x equals 1. So if that should be the case, guys, let's do something reasonable. Assuming we multiply. 2 by 3 raised to the power 30. Let's multiply 2 by 3 raised to the power 30. So from here we have 30 minus x, then multiply by 3 raised to the power minus x, then multiply by 3 raised to the power 30. Then this one will also be 3 raised to the power 30 multiplied by 1. We have it to be 3 raised to the power 30. And easily, we have to take notes of one thing that when you have e n and x this will be always equals x because this will cancel this then we have our x back so now by applying it here <coughs> but before that take a look at this we have 3 raised to the power minus x 3 raised to the power 30 according to law of indices that says when you have a raised to power m dot a raised to power n so far they have the same base we can take one base and add their power together then to be m plus n so by applying it here we have this to be 30 minus x then we have multiplied by 3 raised to power this one will now be 30 minus x as well then we have everything to be equals 3 raised to the power 30. Now, from here, by applying this expression that we have here, e raised to the power ln x equals x. So by applying it here, it implies that we are going to have e raised to the power ln 3 raised to the power 30 minus x as this. And this equals 3 raised to the power 30 minus x. Because obviously, we believe that this, we cancel this, then we are going to have back our this. So by applying it here, we are going to have this to be 30 minus x. Instead of having this one, we are going to replace it as e raised to the power ln. 30 ln 3 raised to the power 30 minus x then equals 3 raised to the power 30. Now according to law of logarithm, this will come here, then we are going to have it to be 30 minus x then e raised to the power 30 minus x then we are going to have this to be ln3 
then we have everything to be equals 3 raised to the power 30. Now, guys, from here, we have L and 3 here. We didn't have L and 3 at the base. Let's make sure we have L and 3 at the base as well and see what will happen. Then we are going to have by multiply to by L and 3. Then we are going to have this to be 30 minus S, then multiply by L and 3, then E raised to the power 30 minus X, L and 3 equals L and 3 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 30. So from here, let's rearrange, or let's rewrite this one, sorry. Let's write it to be 30 minus x, l and 3, then e raised to power 30 minus x, l and 3 equals 3 raised to power 30, then multiply by l and 3. So guys, from here, <coughs> you have to recall from W Lambert function that says when you have W of a e raised to power a this will always give you a why because the power the base and the power are the same so therefore we have back our a so here we have base 30 minus x ln 3 to be the same thing as power here 30 minus x ln 3 so by introducing the W Lambert function, then we are going to have this to be W of 30 minus X, then L and 3, then E raised to power 30 minus X, L and 3 equals W of 3 raised to power 30, then multiply by L and 3. So from here, it is clear that we have this to be equals this. Then we are going to have it to be 30 minus X L and 3 will be equals W of 3 raised to the power 30. Then multiply by L and 3. Now, from here too, we have 3 raised to the power 30, ln 3. Let's do some manipulation here. Then we can have it to be 30 minus x, ln 3 equals. From here, we have it to be w of. We can have this to be 3 raised to the power 27 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 30 then l and 3 this will give us back our 3 raised to the power 30 then we close it like this so from here we have this to be equals w of 3 raised to the power 27 then 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 then we have this to be l and 3 so from here guys we are going to have we have to apply, me looking at this, we have to apply this expression here. That is when you have e raised to the power ln x equals x. So by applying it here, then we are going to have something reasonable. By applying it to this, then we are going to have it to be w of, we have this one to be 7. 27 L and 3 this then we have E from here L and 3 raised to power 27 and by using law of logarithm we have this to be 27 L and 3 then this one will also come here we have it to be E raised to power this one will come down here 27 L and 3 
So me looking at this, we have the base 27 ln 3 to be equals to the power 27 ln 3. And we have W alpha function, which implies that we are going to have this to be. So from here, we have the base to be equals as the power. So therefore, we have W lambda function. We can also have this to be equals 27 ln 3. And from here, we have 30 minus x ln 3. Obviously, this will take away this. Then we have it to be 30 minus x to be equals 27. And from here, by arranging it, we have our x to be equals 30 minus 27. So we have our x to be equals 30. So if you are new here, once again, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more mathematics tutorial videos. So to check, we have 3 raised to the power x plus x to be equals 30. When x equals 3, let's check we have it to be 3 raised to the power 3 plus 3. Then are they going to give us 30? Then we have this one to be 27 plus 3, which equals 30. So this is true for the value of x equals 30. So, bye-bye.